There are some pretty insane battery plants being built around the world. I'm talking massive, massive gigafactories just beyond the scope and size that the human mind can really imagine. But the biggest gigafactory in the world actually started being built recently. And it is frankly insane. It makes the current biggest factory in the world look like a shoebox. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. The electric revolution is here, baby. It's awesome to see. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel and welcome back everyone else. Now, the point of this channel is to simplify things, keep them simple, make it easy to understand and therefore help everyone to kind of get the picture of what's really going on globally right now. Quickly, General Motors, they're building four battery factories. Gigawatt hours, total between the four of those factories will be 170 gigawatts. So each of them will be around, you know, 40 gigawatt hours each, approximately, give or take, close to that figure. But that's four factories. Now, one of the biggest factories in the world has just almost finished completion, CATL's massive battery plant, just down the road from Tesla's factory in China. Now, that thing's huge, but that thing manufactures 70 gigawatt hours a year. The biggest gigafactory producing batteries right now in Europe only manufactures around 35 gigawatt hours a year, but it will expand to 65 within the next couple of years. And that factory is owned by LG Chem or LG Energy Solutions, one of the world's biggest petrochemical companies, unfortunately. And that company makes batteries, for example, for vehicles like General Motors who have a partnership with LG Energy Solutions for their Ultium battery packs. But both of those factories will be pretty damn small in comparison to this new factory. Unicor officially inaugurated this month a production factory for cathode active materials for electric vehicle batteries in Poland, which is also described as the first facility in Europe that will be doing this kind of production. The construction of the plant began in 2019, after which the company has been supported by a 125 million euro loan from the European Investment Bank. Work progressed very quickly, and the production of the CAM started in July of this year with about 240 employees, which is a drop in the bucket compared to what it's going to be. Now, according to Unicor, CAM production for EV lithium ion batteries will reach 20 gigawatt hours annually by the end of 2023 and 40 gigawatt hours in 2024. By that time, the number of employees will increase to 400, but that's still tiny in comparison to where it will be in a few years time. The potential and the aim is to increase volume to eventually hit 200 gigawatt hours per year of lithium ion battery production every single year from that one factory. They say in the second half of the decade, so hopefully 2025, 2026, this factory will be producing 200 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. Now that is enough batteries for more than 3 million cars. Depending on the energy density, it could even be 4 million cars, considering this is new battery technology being manufactured at this factory. 4 million cars from one battery factory. That's amazing. Such a big investment in Poland, apparently, it's not, it's not accidental, according to Inside EVs. As LG Energy Solutions built the plan I just talked about before, not far away from this factory. And there are several other battery gigafactories built or under construction in other countries as well. Now, what is truly incredible about all this isn't the scale and size of this. 200 gigawatt hours of batteries per year from one factory. It's ludicrously big. This factory will be enormous. But what is even more impressive is it will be powered 100% by renewable energy coming from a nearby onshore wind farm. Umicor says that it has become the first company in Europe with a complete circular and sustainable battery materials value chain. The company operates a metals refining and cathode precursor production facility in Finland and R&D and battery recycling facilities in Belgium. Umicore's plan is to expand its cathode active material production capacity to more than 400 gigawatt hours or enough for six to eight million cars by 2030. That includes its existing production in Asia and its planned production in Canada. The CEO of the company said this, we're very proud to open Europe's very first gigafactory for cathode active materials. Umicore's carbon neutral facility here in Nisa is a true enabler 
an accelerator of the e-mobility transformation across the European Union. Now you might be wondering what type of batteries they'll be manufacturing. Well, it won't be lithium ion phosphate, it's lithium ternary batteries. The company focuses on next generation battery materials, including very, very high nickel NMC, meaning nickel manganese cobalt batteries. They use low cobalt manganese rich chemistries, as well as they're focusing on building solid state battery materials. The company says its cathode materials are dark gray powders containing several metals such as lithium, nickel, cobalt, and manganese. These are the main component of lithium ion batteries, determining the amount of energy that can be stored in the batteries. Cathodes are the most important driver to reach optimal performance, best cost balance, say the company, and lowest possible CO2 footprint. Now, obviously, I disagree. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are definitely a better cost performance proposition. When it comes to manufacturing them, the energy density of those batteries has increased pretty significantly over the past six months. A number of different manufacturers will be bringing out new batteries, which will go into many cars, millions of cars around the world, including hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Tesla vehicles, with this higher energy density and improved structural packs, which will be significantly lighter in weight. However, we still need millions of batteries we still need batteries for millions of cars. And therefore, I think these batteries probably will be very much used in European car manufacturers all over Europe. But the question is here, which brands will be using them? Well, I'll have a new video talking about which brand will be using batteries from this Gigafactory very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.